Hey guys, so it's Friday. We just had dinner over at Olive Garden. It wasn't that great. I had a good salad though, and Zach had soup. Soup was good. And that's pretty much it. And then we stopped over at Harkins, which is one of our local movie theaters, and got like a small child sized bag of popcorn. It's the size of a child. Like not it's the size a of a small size. child. Like yeah. literally could. we could hold it up next to my little sister and it would probably be the size of her. No, she's bigger than that, no. True. <laughs> but either way, we got that. And then they also had like this promotion where they were giving away free premium popcorn. The stuff you get in the tins around the holidays, that's like the caramel and the cheddar. They have the caramel and the cheddar in eight ounce bags that are like ten bucks. It's too expensive. For popcorn. And it's just like the people who are like, go to the movies like, yeah, I'll have the caramel corn. It's like, no, you'll have buttered popcorn and you'll like it, scumbag. Right? Well, like, and the, the bag that we got that's called, like, their party bag was $10. It's, so, it's such a good price. And then they give you a cup of butter. Like, they literally, do. a cup of butter. Yeah. So, that's always fun. So, now we are going to Goodwill, kind of do some thrifting we have a few DIY projects that we want to work on, so we just want to kind of see if we can find anything there. Because if you remember, when we started this channel, Sydney said she was going to do DIY stuff. I just Has she? have the time. No. So yeah, we're going to try and finally keep to those promises. But I haven't done stuff I said I would. No. Have you seen a paranormal video on this channel? No. No. Well, you've seen... You've seen us eat. You've seen some supernaturally awesome stuff, I'll tell you that. But... <clears throat> Hey, my Stranger Things video got over 2,000 views. No one expected that. That's supernatural. Yep. Well, we'll play that it was you and not. Yeah, not Stranger the appeal of Stranger Things. things. It was <laughs> me. Not the hit Netflix series that everyone in this world loves. It was all me. You're right. So we are. Hmm. David Lynch shot season three of Twin Peaks better than you're doing this right now. <laughs> I'm new to the vlogging, and my arm is tired. But we'll bring you guys with us when we go to Goodwill. If we see anything cool, we'll show it to you. We do a lot of, that's where we get a lot of our VHS tapes. Yeah. Um, we can it's been like a while. 25 cents. We haven't been in like, God, probably three, four months. It's, it's been forever. So, yeah. Most likely we'll grab a few videotapes if we see anything, but for sure, gonna be looking for furniture and other small things Just cool to stuff. do stuff with. So, yeah. We'll see you guys when we get there. So, we've got Paramore. And then you go down into Adam Sandler, Kelly Clarkson, Hannah Montana. A Halloween Sounds playlist. Big Time Rush and Justin Bieber. And then some Rolling Stones. Okay. I always wanted a beetle. A pink beetle to be exact. And this one is fantastic. You can't just donate your shit and get that stuff to leave you alone. Don't be stupid the type of stuff you come to Goodwill for is these random things that somebody 20, 30, 40 years ago decided to label and then never took the labels off of because that's just awesome. Right, so it's been about four hours since we talked to you guys last. We went to... It's late. Oh, it's so late. It's almost 9.30, which is really late for us to be out after mm -hmm. we worked for eight hours. Like, yeah. back in the day... When we were young college kids, we, we used to hang out. out until 2, 3 o'clock in the right. morning. We're usually home by 5, so we're exhausted right yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. But um, we decided to go out and just go to a few different Goodwills, and that was fun. I mean, we initially just decided to go to 2, we ended up going to 4. So, uh, it was fun, though. We ended up with, what, 6 bags full of stuff? <sighs> a lot of stuff. Some really cool stuff, though. Yeah. I'm excited. It's Saturday afternoon. I That's just woke up. It's still morning. It's like 10 30. I just fun. woke up. I feel like crap. We're working on stuff around the house and Zach is making me coffee. Cause... Zach has been up for hours doing the laundry and the dishes. <clears throat> and he's not at all petty about it. Um, but yeah, we're going to make some coffee, finish up the chores around here, and then probably go run a few errands. So if we go and do anything exciting, we'll obviously bring you guys with us. But yeah. Happy Saturday. All right, so coffee of the day is Hairbender from Stumptown. It's one that we got like a sample of in the mail. We love their cold brew coffee that they sell, but we've been wanting to try their whole bean and they sent us a little bag for free. So thanks Stumptown. You can actually go on to Stumptown's website and get one of these yourself. All you have to do is just sign up for a free trial. It's pretty good. It's a more of a heavy coffee from them, definitely a darker roast, severely caffeinated. So if you're kind of sensitive to things like that, I definitely wouldn't 
try this one, but their coffee in general is just fantastic. All right, guys, so obviously we're back in the car. Gonna go grab the mail because we have like a ton more coffee subscription samples from a bunch of other places that we uh, ordered. If you like coffee, it's definitely worth checking out. All we did was Google free coffee samples and got what? Five or six different I would say, ones? Yeah, about that. A lot of sites are pretty good about that. I mean, we're. I hate to say we're kind of just trying them all and seeing which one we like the best before we kind of select a subscription, mm -hmm. but it's kind of what it is. You want to see which one has a lot of variety, which one is going to be good. I mean, other than that, what's really the point? Exactly. So after that, we're going grocery shopping, going to visit my mom and grandma, and go visit the puppies, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit. All coffee, all of it. There's like five or six different packages here and we still have more coming so yeah Woo! free coffee guys junk master oh my gosh attack of the poppies yeah you're so excited oh you're not excited well excuse me bella loves me don't you bell yes you do like it's marketed as cotton candy flavored. So why wouldn't people want to try and eat these? If we ever get a dog, this will be the only toys that dog plays with. Just epitome of our life in dog toys. It is basically a full week of groceries for us, plus some cleaning stuff. But yeah, it's very rare that we ever do this. So go us, adulting. So we're back home. It's been another long day, not as long as yesterday, obviously, but we got a lot of groceries, as you saw. Went to Harkins and picked up some more popcorn. So now we're the proud parents of twin child-sized bags of popcorn because we decided that we really wanted to try their cheese popcorn. So thought we'd take advantage of the deal they have going on right now and support some local business. So that's a thing. I would show you all the groceries we got, but I'm not the type of person that's gonna be like, Oh, grocery haul! So, we got food, <laughs> got vegetables, meat, snacks, you know, the square food groups. Doritos is a food group in this house, so got lots of that. But yeah, we're gonna make some dinner, kind of relax, probably pop in a movie, you know, what we do best, eat, watch movies, so yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit. See, we have a very traditional fruit bowl full of coffee and bananas. Dinner tonight, we are doing burgers, and currently I am making french fries from scratch because for so long we were making french fries, you know, the bagged stuff that you got and you just popped in the oven, but it was never good. So I've kind of started taking it upon myself to make better french fries. You want to look? Here they are in the middle phase. They've already been fried a little bit, but then once they kind of cool down a little bit, we're going to put them right back into the piping hot oil and then you're gonna get a nice extra crisp on there, you see there? Some of them already kinda of got a nice crisp, but you know, nothing crazy. But here they are, frying away. Delicious. A little bit of Satsuma lemonade. Sorry, the counter's a little messy. Cooking is dangerous business. The second time in, they are gonna be so good. And we got all these other fries too. Look at these beautiful fries. Like seriously, you can't get that out of a bag when they're frozen. You get those out of a Zach. So I'm pretty lucky that I have him to make me such amazing french fries. So we got a new seasoning, a Trader Joe's Spices of the World 21 seasoning salute. Gonna go on these beautiful burger patties. Look at that finished product. So, so beautiful looking. So it's Sunday morning. It's not too early. It's not too late. It's kind of that perfect time to wake up so you can solve a lot of the day and also get to sleep in a little bit. Um, we're going to just make some breakfast and we're going to have some iced coffee. We're going to have this, our Stoke, which is probably our favorite iced coffee. It's very good if you haven't had it. They only have two different brands of ours I know. There's the you know, like not sweet at all and then the not too sweet. We like to get the not too sweet. I you know, I just think it's very good. You can just drink it black and you can have a little bit of cream sugar. You can really kind of however you like it. We're also going to try these two new coffee creamers we got. It's the uh, 
Coffee Mate Honey Cream and Honey Pecan Natural Bliss. Made with real honey. So yeah, I'm going to try the pecan, she's going to try the cream, and that's uh, something she really likes in her coffee, is kind of granulated honey. So it's going to be pretty interesting to kind of see how these taste. Hopefully they're pretty good. Okay, so we tried that new coffee creamer. I actually really liked mine. It was a little strong on like the honey flavor. Usually when I'm making honey in my coffee, I use like a granulated honey, so it's not as like heavy. Um, and Zach's tasted straight up like pecan, so that was weird, but... Overall, it's not bad if you really like, like, the flavor of honey. Like, if you can just eat honey by itself, then you wouldn't really like this one. But I think it's something I might have to dilute with a little bit more coffee. So it's three hours later. Breakfast is completed, obviously. I didn't really like the coffee creamer. I know Sid kind of mentioned that a little bit. It was really bitter, not great. So it is Super Bowl Sunday. That doesn't mean much to me, unfortunately, as I am not a very big sports fan. I just never really got into it. Nothing against it. You know, if you like sports, great. I really don't. Whatever. But I love game day food. Because I love food. Because I'm a, a food person. So I'm going to make guacamole. One of my favorite things to make in the world. So, yeah. I'm going to make that now. And then later on, we're trying a recipe that Sydney's mom uh, gave to us for grilled cheese chili dogs. I know that sounds decadent and very rich. So hopefully it's good. When one is making guacamole, we need a little drink. Grabbing some Simply Limeade. Oh, just look at that. It's not wow wow lemonade, but you know, it'll do in a pinch. And then... Tequila. Yeah. I'm excited. Let's get drinking and making guacamole. <laughs> All that avocado. That's so much avocado. So while I was editing, Zach brought me in this gigantic bowl of guacamole. I thought he was surprising me with a spa day, but he informed me that if I put this on my face, I might die. So, uh, I'm just gonna eat it instead. Oh. My. Goodness. Look at these! Look at these! It's grilled cheese with a chili dog on top of it! Like, I am so excited, you guys. You have no idea. I love it when Zach cooks, and especially when he tries new things like this, like... So excited. All right. That is another weekend in the books. Dinner is done. Dinner was disgusting. Dinner was disgusting. I did. I followed the recipe. We, like, it said four tablespoons of white sugar. And in my mind, I was like, that can't be right. But who am I to question this recipe when, you know, there's all these other ingredients? I'm like, maybe something will kind of, like, click. And nope. Terrible. The cheese was good. But you couldn't eat the grilled cheese because it was covered in that awful chili. True. So, it was just kind of like that. Improvements for later. Definitely. But now we are going to just relax before we work tomorrow and watch the new Cloverfield movie that's yeah. popping up on Netflix. It comes on Netflix tonight. Out of nowhere, they were like, yeah, Cloverfield. And this one apparently explains what ha like what caused the first movie. And I've been waiting for... 10 years for that movie, so I'm very excited. Yeah, and the last one was fantastic. 10 Cloverfield Lane, John Goodman is... And then hopefully the next Cloverfield movie will be good too. And I hope they keep them on Netflix. I think that'd be really something kind of nice to uh, have on Netflix, like their own original kind of line of movies. Because mm -hmm. I love seeing those movies. I mean, we didn't see 10 Cloverfield Lane in the theater, but I saw mm -hmm. the first Cloverfield like five times in theaters. But I'm so excited to just kind of out of nowhere have a Cloverfield movie. It's really, it's probably made my night. I'm so yeah. excited to watch it. Yeah, he came in when I was editing another video and was like, hey, this is loading tonight. The Cloverfield I paradox. I had no idea that was even a thing, to be completely honest. She doesn't I, listen to me. 
I I do, but you talk about movies constantly, and it's I don't really stay up on like the sci-fi as much. I more keep my ear to the ground when it comes to horror, like the new Halloween movie. They started following me on Instagram. They did. That it was, was pretty so fantastic. awesome. Makes me I'm feel not good. as cool. That's okay. So speaking of Instagram, make sure that you are following us on ours. We are the Midnight Jamboree still. Because we want to run everything with this, Zach's website, and our upcoming uh, personal channels all through the moniker of the Midnight Jamboree. And the umbrella that. that keeps us dry and warm and safe. Make sure you're also following us on Facebook, Snapchat, Pinterest, and Twitter. And also, if you have the time and you're looking for something new to check out, check out Zach's website, www.themidnightjamboree.com. There's some cool stuff. As well as the backlog of all of our other videos that aren't logs. I just posted one a couple minutes ago of me testing out some beginner makeup hacks that uh, may or may not have gone over very poorly, but you'll have to watch that video to check it out. So we hope you guys had an amazing weekend and that you enjoyed watching the boringness that happened on our weekend. Yeah, not boring. It was a good weekend. I think so. Until next time, guys, I'm Sydney. And I'm Zach. And you've been watching SNZ. Bye, Bye everybody. everybody.